Giuaco Piano Game, Giuaco Pianissimo Variation, 4, NF6. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. White played a bit better than black in the opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. White outmaneuvered black in the end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. Beginning the Italian game is bc4, which immediately begins to attack the f7 pawn and get ready to castle. nf6 advances the knight and engages in an attack on the exposed e4 pawn. d3 protects the e4 pawn and the c4 bishop, and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. bc5 develops the bishop, attacks the f2 pawn and prepares castling. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. That's good. Games Master. It is the final book action. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. This defends the pawn that was attacked. It is quite good. This ignores an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. This allows the opponent to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a chance to trample a knight. It is incorrect. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. There was only one good move in that position. It is a mistake. A superior technique to develop a queen from its beginning square is missed by this. It is incorrect. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Backs off. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. This suggests kicking a bishop. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. This results in a pawn being lost. It is incorrect. This is the way to win a pawn. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. This misses a chance to trade pieces. That falls flat. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures, from a previous move. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is best. This divides up parts by launching multiple attacks at once. That's good. This prevents an assault on a pawn that may have been taken. It is ideal. This wins a pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. That is good. This overlooks an opportunity to double rooks on a single file. This allows the opponent to activate a rook by getting it to the 7th rank. 
it is an inaccuracy. This misses a chance to move a rook to the seventh rank and activate it. It is incorrect. This is a missed chance to relocate a bishop to safety. It is incorrect. Recaptures. By elevating it to the seventh rank, this poses a threat of activating a rook. The end game has begun, and black is worse. It is ideal. On the file, the rooks are strategically doubled and forcefully combined. It is ideal. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. This is a missed chance to offer an equal exchange of goods. It is incorrect. Although the score was nearly equal, white now has the upper hand. It is incorrect. This misses an opportunity to block a check from the opposing rook. It is an inaccuracy. There was only one good move there. This misses an opportunity to double rooks on a single file. It is a mistake. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This misses a chance to protect a pawn that was being attacked. It is incorrect. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is quite good. This places a rook on the seventh rank, activating it and putting the other side's king under pressure. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. This activates a rook by getting it to the seventh rank and also restricts the opponent's king. This is the only move that works. It is best. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is incorrect. This makes winning a pawn a possibility. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It's compelled. Very precise. It is best. This avoids the rook's check. It's compelled. Right on target. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. White played a bit better than black in the opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. White outmaneuvered black in the end game.